Hello Capricorn, I hope you're well in today's reading we'll be looking at however you're thinking about for January. So right away I noticed a couple here, bottom deck energy, we have the Empress, uh, your overall uh, <laughs> your overall energy around the time you meet your person. We have Emperor and Page of Swords, so definitely we have a match here. You're very powerful, I'd have to say one of the most powerful energies uh, so far out of all the signs. Not only do we have the Emperor, we have the Star, and we have the King of Wands. So definitely, I see you in your power. I see you making things happen for yourself. Some of you own your own business. Um, you may be a leader, an authority figure at work, but more so it's about the energy, right? You're stable. Um, you have things in control, but you are embodying more masculine energy here around the time you meet your person. You may meet in some sort of group setting because the mutual energy is Ten of Pentacles. See, Star can also be online, but I'm also getting a group setting here uh, through family, friends, some sort of get together, party, celebration. But I'm getting you both are looking for long term. A family, some of you may want children. You're both very work-focused around the time you meet as well. With the Ten of Pentacles, do you have money, finances on your mind, right? It's almost the Emperor versus the King of Swords. You're more, it's the strong, silent type uh, Capricorn for your energy. It's reminding me of the Lion, right? You're sort of a, a sitting back and assessing the situation, perhaps ob observing those around you. That is sort of the energy. Less talking, more watching. This person's energy, we have King of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Um, yeah, they, they're coming through as someone who's quite intelligent. It's sort of mind over heart for them, can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, it's more so the energy they're embodying, right? They're quite generous. They may be doing something for work where they need to assist others. They can be a counselor a healer, a doctor, you know, those are just some examples, but they do seem to be highly learned, whether through school, you know, university, or just um, street smart here. I want more clarity on their energy, actually, Capricorn. Why is King of Swords here? Queen of Cups? So they may have um, more people in their energy around the time you meet. Perhaps a decision between two. But they're leaning in your direction. If I look at the Queen of Cups, she's heading in your direction. But yeah, there is something going on here in their overall energy. A betrayal, um, giving to two people some cheating. Some of them may also be coming out of a divorce, right? Um, I'm definitely getting that. Because for how your first impression of them or how you're viewing them in this first meeting, we have King of Pentacles, Five of Wands. So again, that group setting, because I see other people around them. This can be through work as well, right? If you work in a group setting, I definitely see that. Because you're seeing them as a businessman, someone who's all about their work, their business, their finances. Why are you seeing them as the Five of Wands though? Why is Capricorn seeing their person as the Five of Wands? Yeah, again, some, some reference to a group setting, some home or work situation. A celebration. I think you'll be very intrigued with the Page of Swords. That's our detective, right? You'll be paying close attention to them. They're sort of minding their own business. You'll see them as quite down to earth, maybe even a bit reserved, and I think that will catch your eye, is what I'm getting. How you'll be feeling in this first meeting, we have the Star Three of Cups. Now this is interesting because Scorpio had the same combination come through for their overall energy. But yeah, this is some sort of a celebration, it seems, at night. Um, you may be celebrating some sort of victory here in terms of a promotion, um, something to do with your finances. I'm definitely seeing that. A lot of you, this is some sort of party, celebration, wedding. If I look at the 
entire spread. That is what I'm getting. But you're feeling quite hopeful. You're ready to party here when you meet your person. Yeah, this has to do with uh, school or work. Um, say, uh, for example, uh, you go out for drinks with your co-workers. I'm definitely seeing that. Yeah, you're enjoying life. Look at you. Three of cups, nine of cups. Nine of cups and star is also wish fulfillment. And this is how you'll be feeling about this person. So you feel fortunate to have met them. This is a lucky break, an opportunity. You're extremely happy. There may be an age difference here. We have Page of Pentacles and King of Pentacles. Some of you may um, be new at their workplace. That is also coming through if this is a work meeting. How they'll be feeling, we have Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Yeah, they seem to be busy or focused on something else. Um, they're focused on their business and uh, growing in that aspect of life. But this is someone who's extremely uh, patient. Why is Seven of Pentacles here? Six of Swords, yeah, they're sort of detached and some of you, they're at a distance initially when you meet. Because Eight of Wands and Six of Swords can talk about travel. Some of you, it's online. So if you were to meet in person, yeah, this person will ask for your number, is what I'm getting. And that is how you'll sort of get to know each other. Because Eight of Wands, Magician is Mercury, ruling social media, right? Or just communication in general. But I see a lot of back and forth and this person initiating conversation. We did have King of Swords in their energy and we have Gemini. So this may be a Gemini Virgo for some of you. But they'll be very attracted to you with the Eight of Wands. There's a lot of passion and they'll want to make things happen with you, right? They'll um, take things in their hands and They'll initiate is what I'm getting. Yeah, look at that lust. A lot of desire for you. It's lust at first sight for this person, more so getting it in their energy. Your first impression of them or sorry, their first impression of you, we have Chariot, Eight of Pentacles, someone who's in control, very determined. Um, you're moving full force ahead. Again, those of you, there's distance and travel involved. They're seeing you as someone who's traveling with a chariot, right? Um, some of you may have moved around the time you meet, but Eight of Pentacles, again, that work scenario. You're hard at work here on some project in school, right? You have your head down and you're preoccupied here is how they're viewing you definitely can be um, through family or work or school right eight of pentacles you, their first impression of you king of pentacles your first impression of them but another scenario i'm getting sorry i know i'm giving you many scenarios but it's what's coming through because where and how you'll meet we have ace of wands for one this is extremely fast and unexpected so it's out of nowhere if we look at the expression on her face, yeah, she seems kind of shocked here. Clarify Ace of Wands for where and how Capricorn will meet their person. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, someone may be traveling for work, but it's definitely evening tonight and it's unexpected with the Knight of Wands. Things will move very quickly and this person will be approaching you um, for some of you, but it's the more masculine energy that will be approaching um, the more feminine energy is what I'm getting. So take it as it resonates. How you'll approach them, we have Nine of Pentacles, the Hangman, King of Wands. You may take um, the first step for some of you, not everyone, but the King of Wands, normally someone who's the pursuer, right? takes action so you may be sending this person a message if it's online or starting up a conversation maybe asking for directions if you're traveling here you're a bit confused right if we look at the chariot saying should i go left or should i go right so this person may help you out um give you directions that is coming through for some of you but you're single and you're sort of minding your own business You'll be patient. I don't think you're in no, any rush here. So 
sort of going with the flow. Because if we look at the Nine of Pentacles, the hangman, um, the eyes are closed, so I'm getting you're not really even paying attention um, to this opportunity initially. You don't see it. But we're going from the clouds, right, to all this red and orange, this passion, right? It's almost that passion ignited energy. How they'll be approaching you, we have Ace of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups. So they'll be offering you um, their cup of love here. They'll be very sweet with you, vulnerable uh, to some extent, but they seem to be going through something themselves with the Five of Pentacles, Five of Cups, or some disappointment here. We have five, five, five in their energy um, challenges coming through, right? But this person will have a hard time getting you off of their mind after this first meeting. Especially if we look at the imagery here. I have to show you this. Those of you that you meet while traveling, right? Some of you can be in a more, you know, there's winter, there's snow, it's a colder climate. And then you're traveling to a more, you know, sunny place. To, so that distance may be causing them some anxiety here. You live in different locations that may be stressful for them is what I'm getting. Clarify Ace of Cups for this person. Yeah, some of them have come out of another commitment, which I was picking up here. Um, so that, which is why challenges here. Yeah, this is definitely, they're going through something. They're sort of in hermit mode. Um, they're reflecting, they're healing. But they'll be wanting to take this risk, this leap towards you. You represent a new beginning uh, for them, Capricorn, but they're going through some difficulties when you meet them. So that will prove to be a bit of an obstacle here initially. Okay, let's look at Oracle cards. We'll start off with your energy, actually. And then we'll look at their energy. So it's sort of a you versus them here. This was funny. It made me laugh. We have love in your energy. We have money. And it came through like this. So it's love, money. So some of you definitely. Emperor, Page of Pentacles. Uh, you have business on your mind. Nine of Pentacles, your stability. Which is why your eyes were closed. You're looking down. So this initiative, whatever action, may be in terms of school or work right accumulating more wealth right a business idea some business venture king of wands can be an entrepreneur some of you are traveling for work those are the scenarios i'm getting but definitely money on your mind we have defensive yeah the sky's in full armor remind me of the nine of wands so yeah you'll be defensive you're keeping your cards close to your chest and you don't trust easily, which is why with the Page of Swords, right, it's a suspicious energy. We have number 56. 1111. Opportunity, timeliness, and pay attention. Some of you may be seeing 1111 quite a bit, but this is an opportunity and it's saying pay attention. You had your eyes closed. So this may be something unexpected which I saw here with the Ace of Wands, like, uh, where did that come from, right? You're just going about your day and you run into this person. But they're saying pay attention, you don't miss opportunities, right? Don't be so work focused that you're not noticing what is going on around you. That's for some of you, but I don't see you missing out on this opportunity, 11-11 opportunity, it is faded, right? You're meant to meet this person. I have a hard time trusting people yeah, this goes well with your tarot here as well. So trust issues, which is why you're coming through as defensive, right? Perhaps you've been hurt in the past. You're protecting yourself. Makes sense. We have lust here. I think this is mutual Capricorn because I was definitely seeing it in their energy devil um, for how they were feeling. But again, for those of you who meet on online social media, you admiring their pictures. But there's a strong physical attraction here. We have healing. Yeah, I think it's you. You will be helping this person mend their heart because they're coming out of something difficult. And it's almost she's helping him, uplifting him, his energy. Gender doesn't matter here, but 
one of you will help the other heal or it may be healing for the both of you right and we have tenderness yeah there's a mutual attraction there's a lot of affection you'll feel for this person but you'll feel tenderness for this person especially you are the emperor so normally i don't think you let just anyone in right you're very picky in terms of who you let into your energy and you'll feel like um, this person's worthy maybe not in the first meeting but slowly but surely you'll come to that realization right but in this first meeting it's sort of a physical attraction more so is what is coming through we have being strategic i'm being careful not to mess things up with you yeah sort of that i started off with this energy where you were taking a step back and assessing the situation yeah so you will be strategizing here and giving very little about yourself you're extremely cautious we have it memorable this is one of the most memorable dates I've ever had. Yeah, so this first meeting will be very memorable for you. You'll never forget this first meeting. Maybe even telling your children, grandchildren about this first meeting, especially if it's sort of random and there's something very exciting yet unexpected with the Ace of Wands. And we have Young at Heart. You make me feel like a kid again. <laughs> so some of you, you may be older, right? and this person sort of ignites that spark uh, within you again but you'll just feel very playful and giddy and some of you are all about money and business so this will be a very refreshing for you right it's a very playful childlike bond and a lot of adventure here in terms of the physical passion okay we have some days i love you some days i hate you so it may start off as sort of a love hate we have my heart says one thing and my mind says another. Wow, yeah, they're, you're very torn here. Can be because this person's coming out of something, so you're sort of unsure. We have I don't feel you love me. Perhaps you're seeing someone else. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. Yeah, initially you may not know where you stand with this person, and that's causing you a lot of confusion. This is interesting because we have my heart says one thing, my mind says another, and that was their first impression of you. You know, should I go this way or should I go that way? Perhaps you have options as well. They do as well. So some of you, there's distance and you're unsure about that distance. You know, that's there's sort of some worries here initially. I know I need to make a choice, but for now, I'm comfortable with leaving things as they are. Yeah, you won't be ready to make that decision right away. You'll take your time, which is why hanged man, divine timing, right? Not in the right state of mind, but I might just make an impulsive move. That's reminding me of the King of Wands. For those of you that will be initiating, yeah, you will be making that impulsive move, right? Not really think about it, but um, that won't be for everyone. And we have, you have to make a choice. Choose who you want to make you happy. I need an answer from you. So one or both of you will have a decision to make is what that, it's talking about a choice. I know I need to make a choice, you have to make a choice, right? So it's both of you here. A confusion when it comes to you is what I'm getting from the Oracle cards. Let's see their energy. We have Feng Shui Butterfly. Change, renewal, releasing obstructions. Yeah, there's some drastic changes uh, in this person's life. Six of Swords, five, 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 I was telling you about. So it's almost death and rebirth. They're leaving something behind and they're coming towards you. A lot of you, this is a divorce or a breakup here. We have friends and intimidation. So some of you may be with your friends because star is 11th house Aquarius, which rules friends. And we had three of cups where there was three girlfriends or something. And this person may feel intimidated. They've been watching you, right? But they will muster up that courage and approach you. But they're very scared. And do you see how the these girls, they're quite shocked or surprised and they're um, turning around to look at these two. So yeah, your friends may be sort of watching you both or see this person approach you that is also coming through for others of you it can be just it starts off as friends because this person's uh, very intimidated by you and 
they're afraid of taking that risk they'll want to so they'll start off small with the ace of cups right just being there for you lending you emotional support you being there for them and you slowly build from there we have soul connection there's this bond between us i can't explain so yes right away this first meeting this person feels your soul soulmates we have deep our date was anything but ordinary it was intense it was deep and meaningful yeah you were saying it's memorable they're saying it's deep you both will <laughs> you both be thinking about each other all night that first meeting you won't be able to sleep is what i'm getting this person will miss you we have unconventional let's do something different instead of the first date cliches some of you if you meet online and your first meeting is a first date you may do something that's sort of um, out there unconventional or there may be something unconventional about this first meeting right it's not something you see uh, every day so there's some shock value here is what i'm getting we have you're coming on too strong so they'll feel this way because your energy is very intimidating for one it's quite masculine there's no one above the emperor so that makes sense you're coming on too strong they're scared and we had that intimidation yeah we have communication so those of you online or even if you meet in person you exchange numbers there may be initially some distance here because i see the telephone the mail right from the computer so yeah i see a lot of communication back and forth we have come hither <laughs> yeah she's sort of it's that empress energy right the feminine knowing her worth right waiting for the masculine to approach her and the masculine's calling out to her but again i'm seeing distance between the both of them strong attraction with the ace of wands and we have the lovers yeah this is sort of lust i'm getting a lot of lust to your physical attraction in this first meeting so definitely we have the two swans here um it's almost two peas in a pod very very attracted to one another it's almost having a hard time keeping your hands off each other maybe that strong we have i fear you're going to find someone better if i don't get it together soon yeah they'll have to wrap something else up here um you know difficult emotions another relationship something and they may fear losing you you know they're saying if i don't um get my stuff together you I, you may slip away right so that may be a fear they have you're out of my comfort zone i'm not used to dating someone like you which is with unconventional there may be some differences here you may be not you may not be this person's usual type or there's something just very risky or different about you and some of you the unconventional can just be the distance they've never um done long distance before right so you're out of my comfort zone that could be what that is signifying i'm really hoping to 